Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of The Drawing Board. My name is David Franklin. I'm your host and thank you so much for joining us for a 30-day Tesseract Dice YouTube campaign where for 30 days we're talking about the science behind our Tesseract Dice on Kickstarter. And today we're going to be talking about some basic chemistry. So inside of an atom you're going to have three major subatomic particles. Subatomic means the pieces of an atom. They're smaller than an atom, but they make up the entire atom. So the very first one is called a proton. Now all the elements on the periodic table are defined by the number of protons in them. So for instance, hydrogen, which has a one above it on the periodic table of element would have exactly one proton. And carbon, which has a six above it, you guess it, has exactly six protons. And this is a steadfast rule. Protons are the positively charged particles and the elements are defined by how many of these positive particles they have. Now science does tell us that opposites attract, especially in the form of chemistry. So all of these positive subatomic particles are gonna be attracted to negative subatomic particles called electrons, which have a negative electrical charge. Now, usually for a stable element, which is only by itself, not in any sort of compound or mixture, will have the same amount of electrons as it does protons because things seek to even out. However, we don't often find pure elements in the world. So often on the periodic table, you will see elements that have more or less electrons than they do protons, making them more negative or positively charged. However, these atoms still want to seek some sort of an equilibrium. So you'll often see elements and atoms from opposite sides of the periodic table combining together. This way, elements with one less electron than a proton and an element with one more electron than proton would combine together, share a single electron, which they'd both be at equilibrium, but they'd be really hard to tear apart because they share that one electron. Now we've talked about the positive and negatively charged subatomic particles, but there are also neutrally charged particles called neutrons. And neutrons don't have such a cut and dry relationship to the number of protons in an atom as electrons do. However, from element to element, there are different numbers of neutrons that are more or less stable with each particular element. For example, one of the most common and simple isotopes to talk about is in carbon. Now carbon has six protons, and a lot of times you'll find it with six neutrons in it. Since protons and neutrons have most of the mass in an atom, you have six plus six, and you're gonna have a mass of 12 for carbon. And this is the most stable arrangement for carbon. Sometimes you'll find it with one extra neutron or one missing neutron, which would make it a carbon 11 if it's missing one, or carbon 13 if it has an extra neutron. And usually this means that the nuclear forces are gonna slowly start breaking down, releasing a form of energy called radiation until they reach the desired stable level. And they'll keep breaking down until they reach the desired stable level. And that's getting a little bit more complex and we kind of discussed that the other day in our Madame Curie episode. But today we did talk about some pretty basic chemistry and we actually covered about two or three weeks of a basic chemistry class. Thanks so much for watching today's episode of The Drawing Board. My name is David Franklin. I'm your host and thank you so much for watching today's episode of The Drawing Board where for 30 days we're talking about the science behind our Tesseract dice on Kickstarter. And if you want to get a further look at some of those dice, you can check out the link in the description below and check out our Kickstarter page. But if you just want to follow along with the science of the rest of this campaign or for the rest of the show, you can click that blue button over there in the corner subscribe to the channel and we will. And if you just want to follow along with the science for the rest of the campaign or for the rest of the channel, you can click that blue button in the corner right over there and make sure to join us tomorrow when we're going to be signing off our Tesseract Dice campaign. See you guys then.